Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Tufts Brewery. They're down in Texas. This is their full grown pastry chef. And it says here on the bottom, Imperial Stout brewed with peanut butter at 12.5% alcohol by volume. And Imperial Stout. And on the lip of the can right here instead of on the bottom, it says 0429 of 2020. This was sent to me by Dale, and it had a $3.99 sticker on the front of it, and I took it off and put it on the back here. So, Dale, thanks a bunch for uh, sending it to me. On the back of it, it says uh, 50 IBUs. Uh, when I went to Beer Advocate, they had the full-grown pastry chef, but they only had one edition listed here, and they're saying it's 11.8, and this one says it's 12.5. So. Maybe the new edition, they brewed it several times and it's not there. When I went down and looked, uh, this guy says it has peanut butter in it, so I'm thinking he's had the same one I have, but the ABV is different from what they're saying this beer is. Over to Untapped, they have the peanut butter version listed here at 12.5%, 35 IBUs, which matches what I have here. Peanut butter adds a full body of richness and full grown a full grown man, but also brings you back to the days of stomach aches from eating too many peanut butter cups. Chef Christoph did this one right. So, uh, and the picture on the can looks just like the one I see here with the guy with the big beard with stuff growing out of it. So, uh, and these guys, like I said, are out of Texas. Uh, so we shall see. 35 IBUs. And I think it's, uh, it says 50 IBUs on this one, so I don't know. Different versions, different batches have different ABVs and different IBUs. Guys, so. This one is 50 IBUs at 12.5% ABV, and we know the date. I just told you what the date was on it, so we're going to find out. Final beer of the evening for me. So once again, thanks to Dale for sending me the beer mail package. So let's get it on, 12 ounce can here, and let's see what we got. I do like a nice peanut butter stout, imperial stout, occasionally. I wouldn't want to drink this every day, but it is a nice change up from your typical imperial stouts. And there are a lot of breweries that are and doing peanut butter stouts. Uh, Terrapin does one, Liquid Bliss, and Euclid does Sweet Baby Jesus, and there are multitudes of other ones. Uh, Belching Beaver does one. Uh, uh, so a lot of breweries are doing the peanut butter beers. Not much head poured on this, about a quarter of an inch, and it's hardly even covering the top of the beer. To the nose we go. All right, on the nose, I'm getting the chocolate and the peanut butter. It smells like a greasy cup in the glass, guys. It actually does. It smells pretty good. I'm pour it at 12 and a half percent. I'm not getting that alcohol in the nose, maybe in the taste. I mean, it, this would go well with any kind of chocolate dish or chocolate peanut butter dish, or maybe your the scissor dessert, which is it is for me because I don't eat candy or cake or any of that kind of crap anymore since I'm on my diet. It smells pretty damn impressive. So let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Dale. Thank you. Tastes just like it smells, guys. I mean, this is a candy bar in a glass. Tastes just like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Alcohol is well hidden for a 12 and a half for center. Very impressive. Very tasty, too.
That's a very well done beer, guys. I mean, I'm getting the peanut butter, I'm getting the chocolate, I'm getting the roasted malt. It's very smooth for a 12 and a half percent. The alcohol is well hidden. A very nice, enjoyable dessert beer. Very tasty. Well, let's step on it, let it come up to room temperature, and I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. I've been sitting on it for a while now. Tasty beer. Well done peanut butter chocolate stout. Imperial stout. Uh, like I said earlier, this is 12.5%. Beer Advocate has it at 11.8%. Uh, different batches and different years have different ABVs. So, uh, it's the only one that I've seen listed on Beer Advocate. Uh, it's what it is, guys. I mean, it's very tasty, especially if you're looking for a dessert beer with peanut butter and chocolate. Very tasty. Final choke. The peanut butter notes are definitely there, and chocolate notes. A great dessert beer. Very tasty. This could go well with any kind of dessert or be your dessert. Final choke. Well done beer guys. It is a well done beer. And these guys are out of Texas. Well done Texas beer. Wouldn't want to drink it every day, but a nice change up from your typical Imperial Stouts. Uh, I enjoyed it. Very tasty. Thanks again Dale for sending it to me. Uh, to me guys, uh, A minus, I'm going to give it a 92. That's where I'm going to put this. Over to Bear Abbott, they say 90, outstanding. I'd agree with that. And over to Untapped, they have it at 4.14, also in their A minus range, so it's unanimous. It's an A minus beer all the way around. Very well done. Alcohol is very well hidden for a 12 and a half percenter. Very nice. Very well done. So, with that being said, if you've had the full grown pastry chef with peanut butter, let me know what you think. Uh, Dates on it, ABV is on it, we got the IBUs, all the information you need. Uh, so if you've had it, let me know what you think. So we meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.